I cannot believe that was at the Goodwill for $2.49. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'm also going to tell you which platform they sold it on. I posted Share Your Best October Bolo in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody to share their best bolo item. An item a bolo item is an item to be on the lookout for. All right, so the first one here, bought this for $6 at Goodwill last spring, sold it for $55. Didn't know exactly what it was, but took a gamble. How many of you buy things and you're like, I don't know what this is, but I think I can sell it? Guilty. Um, it is a Phoenix RC Pro Simulator, V5 RC Flight Simulator Software and Remote. <laughs> it's a bolo. All right, here we go. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Khoff-77. She is a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined Bolo Buddies memberships to be featured in this video. This is her eBay store, and I will also link it down below. In October, we found this pan at the Goodwill for $24.99, more than we usually spend on an item. Sold in a couple days for $110.99. Hexclad, H-E-X, C-L-A-D is a brand to watch for. It is a 10 inch hybrid frying pan with the lid. Yeah, $24.99 is paying up for me as well. But if you know you can flip it quick for that kind of money, definitely worth it. This one is a pristine George Kovacs MCM swivel half dome dimmable chrome desk lamp. Something I would probably pass on because it would be hard to ship. However, this is pretty cool looking. I might have bought this for my husband. My husband likes, you know, different things, um, unique and different if they have like a MCM look to them or like those old clocks. He loves those. He said, um, I found this at the Goodwill for $2.49 and sold it for $349.99. That is incredible. I cannot believe that was at the Goodwill for $2.49. That's, that's amazing. Wow. That's a good looking, good looking uh, desk lamp right there. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. What? 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 I have never seen such a thing. I definitely probably would have picked it up, but look how gross it is. First time posting. We have been selling for about four months now. This was found in my mother-in-law's attic. <laughs> and once belonged to her husband. We listed it and had watchers immediately. Some really lowball offers, but the comp supported 300. It was in the best of condition on the market besides a new inbox one. So zero investment. Helped mother-in-law clean out attic and made also made 300 plus shipping. What is this thing? It is a inhumanoids and humanoids. <laughs> decompose 1986 Hasbro 14-inch vintage large figure. I think it's a toy. <laughs> what on earth? Have you guys ever seen this before? Uh, definitely be on the lookout. Somebody put, not gonna lie, that thing is a little creepy. I, I'm gonna have to say that I agree. It is weird. All right, Bolo Buddies member Noni's Treasure House. This is her eBay store and she will be linked down below as well. I got this pokey little puppy trinket box at an estate sale along with several other boxes. This was so cute. The trinket was a little pokey little puppy book. It cost me $3 and sold overnight for $69. I should probably have auctioned it. There were none others listed and last one sold for about what I listed it for. And she did the... What do, what do I always say? If there's no others listed, do an eBay auction first. There is nothing to lose by trying an eBay auction. But that's a fantastic return on your money. And she said, oh, well, still a good sale. Yes, most definitely. And she's doing this because she watches my videos and she hears me say it all the time. Do an auction, do an auction, do an auction. It is a porcelain hinged trinket box. Great return on your money. Don't beat yourself up. We all do it. <laughs> uh, I have done it. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think I have an Avon calendar listed. I probably need to. I can't remember if mine has the mouse or not. I have found probably 
five or six of these, um, and they are always a bolo. It is an Avon Advent Countdown to Christmas calendar. The one I have listed, it may or may not have the mouse, but I should probably take it down and relist it because this would be a good time to sell this item, and it may be a little stale because my items, I think I had three listed at one time. Um, I got really, really lucky and found two at the Goodwill bins and one at a church thrift store, all within like the same time frame. I was excited. This bolo is on you and thanks to your always amazing, informative, and often humorous videos. <laughs> you think I'm funny here? Oh my goodness, you guys got to come over to Whatnot. We have so much fun. Now, I'm not going to say every show is like super funny, but when I get in my moods, Oh my goodness. And of course, you know, I say things wrong and people in the chat get me going and it is a good time. So even if you don't want to buy from me on whatnot, use that link down below, join whatnot, get your $15 to shop. You can use that with anyone, but definitely come hang out in the chat. It is so fun. Um, you get to see me mess up words live. Um, you can make fun of me. It's okay. I don't care. Um, it's a good time. It's a good time. So come over to Whatnot and have some fun. All right. So she said, I got this at a, on the second day of an estate sale. I made a huge pile of stuff I was buying and paid 60 So probably about a dollar for this. The Avon Advent Calendar, brand new in the package. Couldn't believe it. Listed for $149. A girl messaged me a few questions. She said she had it as a kid. She then sent an offer and I accepted for $125. I could have held out, but part of the reason I love this is getting these items to people that really, it means something to them. I would have held out. <laughs> I'm an awful person, but those, if they're new in the packaging, oh, crazy money, but you're a sweetheart and you did what you felt in your heart and I I do that sometimes too. It depends on the message that I get. You can tell which people are playing you. You're like, I know that's a reseller and they're just trying to buy my item and resell it. You know those people and you know those people that really just are sending you a mean meaningful message. And it is hard sometimes um, to uh, just not sell it to them for a discounted price because of what they have to say. So I get it. I get it. But if it was sealed in the original packaging, oh my goodness, yes. Big money. All right, this bolo was a bit of a surprise. I got this puzzle at a local Humane Society thrift store for $2. I looked up comps and was shocked. It's Charles Wysocki Halloween Puzzle. I listed for $139.99. Lots of watchers even sent offers. Someone sent me one for $25. <laughs> I didn't even counter. Figured way too far apart with what I wanted. But like you say, wait for the right buyer. Sure enough, two days later, full asking price of $139.99 and all my buyers pay shipping. Very exciting find. Yes. And did she say this one was sealed? One thing about puzzles, I like to sell puzzles, but I like them to be sealed up because I'm not counting pieces and I am not putting puzzles together. Um, but yes, Halloween theme, definitely look that one up. Bolo Buddies member, Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. Found this in the back of a Catholic Charities thrift store on a bottom shelf, pushed way to the back. I actually had to get on my hands and knees to see what it was. It had a pink tag marked $50 with an X through it. It was huge and heavy and could barely get it into my cart, so I could take it back to the front of the store to see what the actual price was. When I asked the clerk, she said it was on clearance for a dollar. What? I knew shipping would be expensive, but it was complete, and I thought for a dollar it would be worth the hassle. Put it on auction and sold fa fast for 74, and buyer happily paid shipping. Vintage 1983 wooden dollhouse kit. Thanks, Courtney, for keeping me motivated to sell what might otherwise be challenging. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm usually the one that says, oh, nope, that's going to be too hard to ship. I'm not going to do that. But I probably would have picked this up for a buck also. Um, it looks like it's in the original box. So really, you know, I would probably put some bubble wrap around that, find a box to fit it in or make a box. And I probably would have picked that up also because it is a dollhouse kit. And for a dollar, that was a great buy. So and it being in the original box makes things a lot easier. Depending on how it was packaged, 
you may be able to just put it in a mailer if it was um, the original manufacturer's packaging and it was sealed in there really good you may be able to ship it in the box because that's probably how it was originally shipped Bola Buddies member, Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. Here's another one. It was a good day at the Catholic Charities Thrift Store for me. Thanks to Courtney's videos, I know to keep my eyes peeled for vintage swung vases. Found this one in perfect condition in a reduced bin of all things for a dollar. Can't imagine how it was passed over to make it to be reduced bin, but oh well, works for me. It sold in a few weeks for a best offer of 85. Google Lens helped me figure out who the maker was or who the maker might be. So I listed it as such. It is a swung glass and wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so those are the vases that are kind of like, they look, I don't know, they look like this. <laughs> Definitely be on the lookout. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, the Kitschy Kansan. And remember, anybody that I mention is a Bolo Buddies member and their links are down below. Check out their stores. They are Bolo finders. It's a great way to learn. Um, the Kitschy Kansen got this mug in an auction lot and it went to my money pile because I was pretty sure it wouldn't be worth much. I finally dug my way to it and started researching it and found I could list it for 35. A week after listing it, I accepted an offer of 2870 and it was a nice surprise. It is a vintage glass bake Smokey the Bear and Cubs Forest Fire D, handle milk glass mug. Yeah, some of those milk glass mugs can do well. Plus, it had Smokey the Bear on it. Somebody wrote, love Smokey. Here's another one from the Kitschy Kansen. Got these Asian soup spoons at a flea market for five because I loved the colors. Oh, yeah, those colors are great. About two months after listing, I got full asking price of $50. And this is what they look like. This one also comes from the Kitschy Kansen. I said Kansen again. My friend is like, it's Kansen. It's Kansen. Us here in Kansas, it's Kansen. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try to do better. And I've messed it up twice. But I think I just remembered, right? The kitschy Kansen. Kansen. <laughs> With that like z sound instead of a s sound. <laughs> Did I get it right? You knew who I'm talking to. You know, you know. I'm talking to you. All right, bought an auction lot that had this cute German smoker in it, gave less than $2 for it and listed it for 55. A month after listing it and several lowball offers later, someone sent me a $45 offer and I took it. It is an, <laughs> talk about not knowing how to say things. Um, man, I don't even know if I want to try this. Erzig Burge. We're not even going to slow that down because that was pretty slow. This is what it looks like. You can see it's E-R-Z-G-E-B-I-R-G-E. -E -E. I'm guessing that's German. Uh, beekeeper wood German smoker man incense burner smoking glasser. Let's do one more here. Bought this Longitech Trackman marble computer mouse for $2 at a yard sale. Yeah, these are a bolo. I actually found one of these at a garage sale and I was so excited. I'm like, oh, it's one of those mouse mice for your computer and it's got that ball and I was all excited. Well, mine was not a big money bolo. It was good, but it wasn't like this good. So there are certain ones that sell better than others. She said, I knew the trackball style mouse was good and this one was new in the box. None listed with the exact style and packaging. So listed for $199 and sold in a week for $150. And this is one you're looking for. <laughs> all right. We are going to stop there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come over and see me on Whatnot. It's so fun. And those links are down below. Check them out. There's other referral links down there of things that I use for my business, like List Perfectly and WorthPoint. And um, I also have videos that tell you how to do those things. If you want to learn how to cross post, if you want to learn why WorthPoint is worth it, it took me a long time to get WorthPoint. I was like, I'm not paying that. Are you kidding me? I can find comps other places. That worth point has made me money. So um, check out those worth point videos to see how I use it to make more money in my reselling business. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. What was that? Thanks for watching. I don't know what that was. You guys have a great evening and thanks for watching.